doll. Move your ass. And I'm always ready. Oh, but I don't like it like this, Robert. Of course you do, Di. Of course you do, because you know how lucky you are. Lucky? You must be joking. Look, wait. My, we are a fine specimen of virile manhood, aren't we? Look, Tom, love, all work and no play makes you sad, uptight and very grey. Huh. The trouble with you is you're working too hard. You need a rest. You're right there. Well, why don't we go away for a long weekend together? Just you and me, somewhere nice and quiet. What about next week? I, I can't, Cheryl. I've got to go away next weekend. Uh, to a business conference. Out of town. Why, you lousy bastard. You're having a bit on the side, aren't you? That's where you're going to spend your weekend. Business trip, indeed. It's strictly a working weekend. I'd like to know who'd have you anyway. I mean, just look at you. You're getting more and more tired and old and past it. I hadn't noticed you rejecting sex with me. But only when you want it. I need all I can get, you know. I'm a healthy girl and once a week just isn't enough. And that's usually on a Saturday night when you're too tanked up to do it properly anyway. You cow. Instead of thanking me, all you can think about is sitting back and taking it easy. Or lying back, should I say. I'm wanting it easy. And that's just making you flabby. <laughs> This pussy will play. Robert, 
Well, it's just that I feel like I'm betraying him. I'm your friend, aren't I? Yes. And what's a friend for? What do you mean? She's here to help you and to tell you the truth, right? Well? Robert is selfish. You've said so often enough. All he thinks of is himself. So let him cope on his own for a while. Then he'll see how important you are. That's true. Thanks. Good. Feeling better? Yes, a little. Well, have a sandwich. That'll restore you. I made them especially for you. Hope you get my message now. It's really a very plain. If all the world sang la la la, no more. You must learn to be independent. Robert can look after himself. He's a big boy. Anything else, Mr. Wakeman? Why, yes, Miss Phipps. This evening, overtime. How did it suit you? Perfectly. Good. Uh, that'll be all for the moment. Thank you, Miss Phipps. Dr. Schroeder. Um, Schroeder. Schroeder. I'm always getting him wrong. <laughs> oh, you'll like it here. Of course, you'll go through lots of changes. And the diet they give you is very, very healthy. You should have seen my hair before. It was just like a chimney before I come here. Oh. Now, please, stand over there. Feet well apart. You too, Mr. Williams. Stand behind her. That's right. Now, do as I do. Bend and rise. Bend and rise. Stop it! Bend. Leave me bend. alone! Piffle, you know you like it. Bend and rise. Leave me alone! Pedal, 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 pedal. Pedal faster, come on, pedal, pedal faster, pedal, pedal, put some effort into it. Look, please stop. Is your saddle comfortable? All right, get those legs up. Oh, oh, you're horrible. Oh, you're quite an acrobat. <laughs> up with those legs. You know, I could do something for you. Get off. Come on, Mrs. Waitman, put some effort into it. Get away, please. Okay. I like rowing. It's the only time I get my hands on a couple of oars. Use those back muscles. Come on, pull, pull, pull. Oh, piss off. Mrs. Waitman. 
Would you please let Mr. Williams get on with his exercise? And you'd concentrate on your rear. You don't understand. Oh, oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't, I really can't. Call it a day. You can go and get dressed now, Mr. Williams. Thank you. Come with me, Mrs. Wakeman. I think you need to calm down. Mrs. Wakeman, you really must concentrate on these exercises. They're for your own good, you know. I can hardly stand up. I, I think it's my stomach. Oh, I'll go and get Dr. Schroeder. No, don't do that. It's all this exercising. I think something. Well, I'll go and get Lauren and she can give you a massage. No, that's no good either. I've already asked and she's too busy. I wonder, perhaps, could you give me one? I can't. Dr. Schroeder said I've got to go to the games room to straighten his falls. Have you? I'll tell you what. Perhaps I'll come along with you and, and give you a hand. Is this part of your job? Oh, yes. Dr. Schroeder is most particular who handles his balls. I'll bet he is. Where does the blue one come from? Would you believe the fridge? Oh, Mr. Collins, be serious. Miss Brooks, when I first came here, you said you were here to help. Well, I need help. What do you want me to do? Well, could I say, just chalk my cue? Come on, pretty woman, give your love. 